Female, late teens, hypothermic, GCS of nine. Trauma two. Can barely feel a pulse. She's really cold. I got her. Male, early 20s, fell off a plane at touchdown. Let's go to trauma one. Left chest is crushed, unable to intubate. Pale and unresponsive, get intubation drugs. 20 of a time a day to 100 of sucks. Get a labs and a base deficit and trigger the MTP and start transfusing as soon as the blood shows up. On my count. One, one two, two, three. three. Transfer. <laughs> All right, let's get that board out. Got it. Let's get a CBC and a crit. OK, let's roll them over. And roll. Hold them steady. Hold. Right here, Maggie. Miguel. Miguel. What's your name? Can you tell me your name? Miguel. ABC's intact, GCS9. All right, get warm saline bags in her axilla, oh groin and behind her neck, and let's cover the top of her head to keep whatever heat she has in. On it. Too much blood in there, I can't see a thing. OK, we're going to crank this guy. We're going to need about three more. Get a core temp. Let's get the x-ray and the fast scan in here now. Drink set, got it? Got it, I'll back him. How's she doing over here? Heart rate's 50, temp is 29 Celsius, still responding. Breath sounds bilaterally, right is really muffled. What the hell happened? Stowaways from Mexico, he fell out of the plane, she came out of the wheel well after landing. All right, let's get a look at his chest. X-ray, clear. <laughs> Hemonumothorax. Dr. Troy, get a chest tube in on the right. You got it. Roll. All right. Scanner. Here. Thank you. Pressure's down. There's blood throughout his belly. We need to get him up to the OR now. He's going to need a lap. On it. Calling the OR. Yes, 100%. OK, I need to set his leg. All right. Maggie? Yep. Ready? Okay. All right. All right. You wrap that up for me? Yep. Whenever you're set, go. We'll do. <laughs> What's her core temp? Still 29 Celsius. Got the Foley in? Yep. Get two of her set IV, get the ECD in, and set up for a DPL. We have a very short window to get her warm. We're set in. I need a heparin. Ready to travel. All right, let's go. <laughs> OK. Start the infuser and set it to warm. Give me the big needle. And just use the level one to warm. Do not pressure infuse. Got it. ECD warming to 46 degrees. Core temps 35 and rising. Heart rate's up, 60. Hash should stabilize her for now. Good work, everyone. Nice work. I'm afraid she's not out of the woods yet. Hypothermia and hypoxia? That's like hibernation. It's like minus 60 to 70 up there. What kind of screwed up life did she have that she took a risk like that? Hey, no offense, but not everyone's born a Rhodes. Thanks, I keep forgetting that. How's she doing? Still in and out of consciousness. Temp's back to normal. Still waiting on her charts. So yeah, Dr. Rhodes. Como se siente? Donde? Miguel. Her name is Maria Gonzalez. Miguel is her brother. He was the one that was brought in with her. Right. Maria. Your brother was very seriously injured. Ale? Yes, he is. Pero está en terapia intensiva. Bajo medida de soporte vital. Estaba tratando de salvarlo. Why was he trying to save you? Nuestro padre, our father, is narco. Sinaloa, not good man. Won't save me. Pero. 
mi hermano Miguel, take me y que me out. Por favor, que al Miguel, que al Miguel. We will. Haremos todo lo que podamos por ella. Good one. Thanks for coming, Dr. Rhodes. These are agents McManus and Ramirez from Homeland Security. Dr. Rhodes, you have a female patient, a stowaway? Uh, yes, Maria Gonzalez. And she was brought in with a companion? She was, Miguel, her brother. Her brother. We understand he's unconscious in the ICU. Mm hmm We would like to talk to Ms. Gonzalez. I'm afraid that she's barely conscious herself. She's in no condition to be questioned right now. Any idea when we'd be able to talk to Ms. Gonzalez? It's too early to say. This woman is a victim. You know, her father is a narco. He was planning on selling her. Her brother was only trying to save her. Sounds like you've had extensive conversations with the semi-conscious Ms. Gonzalez. No, that's, that's all I know. Dr. Rhodes, you realize we wouldn't be here if this weren't a matter of great concern. Yes, and he'll let you know as soon as you can speak to her. Thanks. Um, We'll be back. And you can count on that. Hold compressions. What happened? We lost him. Time of death, 1132. Whoa, 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 what are you doing with my patient? Right, doc, please, it's best you stay out of this. No, 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 she is under my care. She, you, Maria? Dr. Rose, my mama. Are you okay? Let's keep him back. Hey, hey, you get Listen. off of me. I'm sorry, but she's being repatriated home. Now, she is barely stable. She can't go anywhere. She's stable enough to travel. She can be accompanied by a doctor. No, I, I can't allow this. this. Doctor, I'm sorry, this is not up to you. Good one. Yeah. You backed me up with Homeland Security. Yes, I did. And why did you let them deport Maria Gonzalez? Not here, Dr. Rhodes. Give us a room. Hmm? Homeland Security did not deport your patient. No, no, no. I was outside. I saw them. It's the hospital that's repatriating her. The hospital, why, why, we're doing this, why? Because Maria Gonzalez is undocumented and without medical insurance. We're legally bound to treat her. Which we have done. She is still in critical condition. We contract with a private ambulance service. They provide medical personnel for the patient. That's how you justify it then? Look, I wish I could wave a magic wand and fix it, but I can't. Maria came here for refuge. Her brother risked everything so that he could help her, and he sacrificed his life. For what? For nothing. Dr. Rhodes, 